Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here today on RJ's Trains. Today we have layout update number 14 here on the Long Island and Southern Railroad. About a month and a half ago I put out layout update number 13 which I discussed what I wanted to do and what I wanted to accomplish while I was home on my Christmas break from school. And so in today's video we're just going to look at what I accomplished over my Christmas break and what I'm going to be looking at doing when I get home from school in May. Now, although it should be around early February when I'm releasing this, I've recorded enough videos to give you two train videos a week, so make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss one of those videos. But with that, let's jump into today's video. So starting on the back left side of the layout, I have installed this MTH build board. Uh, it says, Go Subway to Coney Island. And it's a, a rather nice build board, and it goes with the general New York theme of the layout that I have here. And for those of you who are longtime viewers of my channel, you probably know that I have a Amtrak water tower that used to sit on that back corner. And I've moved that. I'll show that a little bit later on the video, but I've wired up this nice lighted build board and uh, it looks really good with trains running past it at night. And it kind of makes it feel like it's New York City, New York-ish. Now, right next to the build board to the right, I have a, a PGH Train Fanatic building flat and it is lighted, it has like a flickering red LED in the corner and it has a porch light. Uh, unfortunately, I screwed up the lighting in that, like the wires became disconnected when I hooked up the billboard. And the way how I have it all wired up, it's very difficult for me to get back there and hook it up. I've been at it for about an hour and uh, the wires keep getting disconnected because I am very bad at wiring. Um, so I'll get back to that eventually. Don't worry, that building's fine. Um, I'm just too lazy right now to go back there and wire it up. So in the front left-hand corner of the layout, this is where I had the billboard sitting previously. And before that, that was where my MTH transformers would sit because uh, I recently upgraded my layout to the MTH DCS command system. And so I don't have a need for conventional transformers anymore. So now I have this big plank space for now. I just have a, a random billboard couple of loose things from the layout, my line chief remote, and my bottles of smoke fluid, along with the uh, New York Central lighted water tower from Lionel. And I'm looking to do something here, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know, because um, I, I don't really know what to put here. Now, for those of you guys who remember my Christmas unboxing video, I got three of the Menards lighted pickup trucks, and so I've placed one of them here in town. Now, I haven't picked up the adapter cords in order to hook up the lights, but it does have headlights, so it's going to give a really cool effect when all the lights are off. Um, but I've got that installed there for now. And behind that, I have a second Menards vehicle. It is a uh, die-cast Lionel Trains van. Really cool piece. And so I have that sitting there for now as well. And so last up for big changes in the town, besides, you know, vacuuming, dusting, the whole nine yards, is that I've changed the building up on the right front hand corner of the town. Originally, it was a hippie tattoo stand from MTH, and I changed it into a campaign headquarters building for the 2020 election. But now that the election has since passed, I don't need a campaign headquarters anymore. And so I've turned it into a night, a United States Navy recruitment center. Um, eventually, I want to go back in there and add people on the inside of the building with, you know, desks and the whole nine yards. And maybe change out the American flag for a aircraft carrier. But for right now, it looks good, and I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm not a big tattoo guy, but I'm a patriotic guy, so it's really nice to have that on the layout. Now for an extremely minor change, uh, that orange dump truck that was back there, uh, it was sitting near the ice cream stand up near the front of the layout, but uh, I placed that back there. Like Those workers are also working on the construction of the house. Uh, that's not permanent. I don't think the dump truck will stay there, but it's placed back there for now. And the next thing that I've wired up is this Lionel newsstands. Now, the, all the figures move inside of the newsstand, but I have it turned off for now because it's extremely loud. Um, but it's a really nice piece. It has a lot of great colors, the red, white, and blue. And it makes it look like people can uh, pick up their newspapers and then head to the train station to board their trains, which um, that's something that I've wanted to do ever since I saw that newsstand in the uh, Lionel 2012. 20 volume one catalog i want to say and um, i'm really glad to have that on the layout it's all wired up and it's looking extremely good and so the last two changes that happened on the layout other than the whole vacuuming and dusting is that i've wired up this section so in layout update number 13 and a couple of previous videos i talked about this mth southern 
passenger car. And I won this in the MTH archive auction. So this was a prototype that they had sitting around on hand. And I've got, uh, I think it's 12 and a half inches of Atlas Road track sitting underneath it. And it's all wired up. So the passenger car is lit up. And uh, it looks really good at night. It adds a lot to the layout and it helps to fit this awkwardly spaced area. Very good. And in front of the passenger car, I wired up this Singleman holding a red lantern that goes up and down, and I'll include some close-up shots of it. Originally, it was hooked up, except the lights up to the lantern were disconnected. Uh, they just came apart because they're extremely small wires, so they become disconnected easily, much like the apartment flat building that's on fire. And so I got underneath the layout when I was doing the passenger car, and I got it all wired up, so it's looking good. So this area is a uh, real great start to what I want to work on the layout the next time I'm back home. And that is, I want to scenic this area around the passenger car, uh, you know, add some ballast to the track, add some grass, uh, add staircases up on either end of the passenger car so people can go inside and see. And right behind the passenger car, I have these center medians here. And uh, I want to scenic those as well with some... Uh, dirt and shrubs and the whole nine yards to add some division between the parking lot of the train station and the main street. And the next addition to the layout is that also for Christmas, uh, my mom got me a Lionel burning house. You know, it has the red LEDs that flicker and it gives off a bunch of smoke. I'll try and include a video of it. And um, it looks really good. And so that's gonna go in that back right corner between the engine shed and the gray Lionel Suburban house, uh, that big space over there. And uh, I think it's it's gonna look great. Although I'm gonna lose this vantage point between the house and the engine shed, that's really nice to film trains up along the mountains. Uh, it's gonna be a really great addition to the layout. That's supposed to come in around March of 2021. So by May of 2021, it will be at the house and waiting for me to hook up to the layout. And the last area that I really wanna get on top of scenicing is the apartment building back to the left of the dump truck. Uh, the table's uneven back there, so it's, as you can see, it's tilting to the right, and um, it just doesn't look good sitting on top of the grass mat. So I'll probably get like a um, some balsa wood and level it out and paint it gray so it looks like it's sitting on a cement pad, and then I think it will look a lot better. Again, it's nothing difficult, it's just me going to a store and getting the materials which I'll have a lot more time to do in May when I'm back home. All right, everybody, so that wraps it up in terms of layout progress. But before we wrap up the video, we have to run some trains around the layout. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any suggestions for the layout or you have any video suggestions, leave them down in the comments. I'd really like to hear your opinion. But for now, take care and uh, stay safe. <laughs>